Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a physics problem. So this question comes from uh, one of the assignment uh, assessment from Harvard University and also the Indian IIT JEE advanced uh, physics question. And this question involves infinite Edward pulley system. As you can see on the right hand side, there are a pulley hanging on a fixed ceiling. And on the right hand side, there's an other pulley uh, hanging from uh, the string on the right hand side. And the left hand side, there's a mass uh, hanging. And then this pattern repeat indefinitely. So we need to calculate the acceleration of the top mass. So that means we need to calculate the, cal uh, the acceleration of this guy. So uh, you can pause the video and have a try and we will check the answer in a second. We will first analyze the tension in the strings. Assume that the tension in the top string is T Newton. So let's put T here. And then because of the string on both sides of the pulley should be equally shared. So we have T over 2 here and also T over 2 here. And then this process repeat. For this string, uh, the tension is T over 2 and then the next string should be T over 4. So we are dividing the tension by half in each process. And the last one is T over 8. And then this process goes indefinitely. So what does, what does that mean? We can have a look on the tension on the right hand side here. We found that this tension is uh, forming a geometric sequence. So this gives us a insight that the tension at the very bottom of the string will eventually become zero. So that means the mass, the small mass at the very bottom, when I release the whole system, it will fall under gravity freely. And for the lower for the lower mass, its contribution to the acceleration or to the to the total mass will be become less. So we have an insight that the total mass on the right hand side will tend to a finest value which we can call it equivalent mass. So now we will find the acceleration of the top mass and at the beginning we will consider the whole system as a finite mass big M. So I will put a big box here and then I will treat it as a large M. So, by the Newton's law, uh, Newton's second law, we have the tension in the string T, which is here, is equal to big M multiplied by G, the acceleration due to gravity. So I will call this equation 1. And then we will go to the below. So now, because um, the right hand side, this part, it is in fact the same as the equivalent mass. So they have a similar look. And if I remove one small mass from the total mass, it does not contribute to anything. So we can consider the right hand side as the equivalent big M again. So now we can redraw the diagram. So this is the pulley and this is the small mass M and this is a very large mass M. So now the tension on the top should be T and then here is T over 2 and here is T over 2 also. So uh, by common sense, we know that the system will go 
downward on the right hand side because the total mass uh, must be greater than the small mass m so we can say that the acceleration on the left hand side goes up and on the right hand side goes down so we can set up the equation so we consider uh, for the left hand side so we know that tension t over 2 we know that this force must be greater than the downward force by the small mass which is mg only so t over 2 minus mg is equal to small m times the acceleration of the whole system a so this is equation 2 and then we consider the right hand side here so now we will use the weight of the equivalent mass big mg minus t over 2 the tension which is equal to the big m a again so this is the third equation but remember we have our first equation we derive here so I will pull this downward we know that the tension is equal to big mg also so we substitute the equation we know that the big mg minus mg over 2 because I will place the tension here by big mg and that is equal to big m a so we cancel out all the big m and we are left with g minus g over 2 which is g over 2 also and it's equal to the a which is the acceleration of the whole system so now we can use this relation and then we put the a into uh, uh, another equation so now we will add up because we want to eliminate the tension the t variable so we will add up 2 and 3 together so the t over 2 will cancel out each other and we are left with big mg minus small mg and this is equal to small m a plus big m a so now we can put the a into this equation and then we can simplify the equation as m times g over 2 plus big m times g over 2 and then we can multiply both sides by 2 which is 2mg minus 2 small mg and it's equal to mg plus big mg so now we can minus the big mg onto the right hand side uh, onto, onto the left hand side which is 2 big mg minus big mg and then the small mg plus 2 small mg and the left hand side will be left with big mg and the right hand side will be left with 3mg and we cancel out the g and we know that the equivalent mass is equal to 3 small m which is the mass of the uh, small object so i hope you guys will like this video and please subscribe to my channel and thank you for your watching and i will see see you in the next video bye bye